Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Battle of the Leagues preview show with your host, the Commish Thrills Alexander. Glad to have everybody here. Uh, glad that we are six weeks deep in this bitch. That's right, we are rolling in the deep Adele style, man. We are about one third, one fourth of the way through. I think it's week 21 is when we hit the playoffs. So, uh, wow, time flies. Uh, speaking of time flying, being a fourth of the way through the season, if you have not paid your league dues yet, that would be greatly uh, appreciated as soon as you could. Check uh, under the video when this is posted. You'll see my Venmo, my Zelle, my uh, uh, Cash app, and then way at the bottom be PayPal because, man, that's a real bitch for me to use and I don't really care for it. All right, so... Uh, being one-fourth of the week through, I thought, you know, I could sit here and do a nor normal, boring preview show, you know, this person's going to beat this person, so on and so forth, and be batting right about 400, if you will. So, uh, I could do that, or, you know, I thought, you know what, bump that, let's go to some power rankings, that's right, and uh, this week, I wouldn't say so much as their rankings as if they are tiers, that's right, I've got the tiers we got three different tiers set up um, thus far into the season. Just looking at where teams are sitting, not strictly at records. I would say records actually played little to do with this process here. This was more such so based upon your stats for the year, what I've seen, what I've noticed, and uh, things like that. So uh, without further ado, let's start with our bottom four teams in the bottom tier. This is the keep trying next year or the year after. Or the year after. Just, you know, just keep chugging along. All right. And first up in the uh, don't give up just yet uh, division or tier, we have isotopes. And uh, statistically speaking, isotopes, if, if this was a numbered system, not, not from personal bias from you knocking me out of the playoffs last year. No, just from what the numbers say, your ass is the worst team in this league right now. Right now I have you last in runs by 14. Last in RBIs by 7. Last in total bases by 24. Last in OPS by 21 thousandths. Second to last in average. It's amazing you've won twice. But Rywalk, woo baby. Those isotopes just trade for some... If this was a keeper league, I'd already be trading for prospects and young guns and... Uh, but that's, sadly, that's not what this is. So right now you should really uh, just look at what you can do to improve going forward because those are some god-awful numbers right there, my friend. God-awful. All right. Also coming in the try again next year. And there's always one newbie that falls into the just terrible luck, terrible just didn't know what he was getting into in this BFFL just ruthless aggression era that we have going on. That's the lollygaggers. Lollygaggers, woo! Like I said, all this happens to his first timer. Sucks to be you. You are last in wins, second to last in saves and holds. Uh, still kind of middling offensively. And I mean, if we look at your numbers throughout the year thus far, Lollygaggers, offensively, you're not terrible. But man, your pitching's holding you back. Luck is holding you back. And right now, you're falling into that bottom bracket with these two other schmucks here. And I'm talking about almost made a sale. One victory this year, five defeats, only beaten Egghead. Uh, this year, 14-team league, you are 13th in runs, 13th in RBIs, 13th in stolen bases, 13th in total bases, 13th in OPS, 12th in home runs, 12th in average. Womp womp. So not only can your dudes not hit, but they can't run either. You just got some slow Cecil, well, not even Cecil Fielder. He could hit. You got some uh, Dan Vogelbox on your team. That's what your team's comprised of right now, Dan Vogelbox. So just know that right now, my friend. Uh, not much else to say. You know, the numbers speak for themselves right there. Just be thankful Isotopes is in the league. And uh, lastly, in our... Just, just keep trying, Lee. Just keep trying here. We've got Mr. Egghead. Um, you lost to B Green, so that's just an auto. As, as soon as you lose to Isotopes, shit, your ass is last. All right, I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, but positive, 
least this positive. You've never lost stolen bases. You win it each week. You are 6-0 and oh in stolen bases. That's pretty crazy right there. I mean, you're 1-5 in total bases, 1-5 in home runs, 1-5 in RBIs, 1-5 in runs. But, man, your team is fast, bro. You got Louis. Uh, no, no, no. You just you just got fast. But you got Billy Hamilton squad, bro. You, where's Billy baseball at? That's who needs to be making a deal right now. If Egghead, his whole team is just Billy Hamilton's. So, Billy, just take your pick right there. Mr. Egghead, you might want to change your name to, to Mr. Hamilton. All right. Uh, moving up to our next tier. We've got the the playoff range. These guys could all be in the playoffs. These guys could all fall out of the playoffs, but uh, they're going to be battling back and forth all season long. And uh, first one we'll talk about. Let's go to let's go to the piggy bank right there. That'll do pig. Run strength, the middle relief, great in holds and K per nine, dude. Just un unstoppable right there. Just cannot be beaten. Um, middling in ERA and just fucking terrible in whip caper in caper nine. Like wow, wins caper nine. That's or wins and innings pitch rather. Ooh boy, that's ugly. Your offense though, you're like the the antithesis, or the opposite. Excuse me, I might have used that word incorrectly. I don't know. I've, I I feel like an idiot now. Um, complete polar opposite of Beagerin because your team is fast and it hits for average, man. You got a lot of Luis Castillos, all right? bigger has got a bunch of Dan Vogelbox. You've got some Luis Castillos. So uh, that's always cool right there. Piggy, you're going to keep chugging along. I don't see any reason why you're going to be held back. I mean, overall, you know, you, like I said, you got speed. You could find some power, which would help your average. I mean, help your runs as well and RBIs. But, hey, I prefer you keep sucking. That's one less team i got to worry about. All right, so uh, also in this division, we have Smelleth the Glove. Smelleth the Glove. 500, just across the board. 500 in all batting categories. It's offensively just 3 3 and 0, 3 3 and 0, 3 2 and 1, 3 3 1 and 2, 3 and just pfft, nothing nothing there sticks out for Smell the Glove. Luckily, his whip and ERA, boy howdy, does that stand out. That stands out. Uh, but somehow his saves and K per, and, and K per 9 is not. I don't know how you have a great whip and ERA, but have a cr pretty crappy saves and K per 9. That is odd in this day and age, but hey. You do. You smell the glove. It seems to be working thus far. Um, but you're in the playoff range tier, my friend. So uh, f preferably fall down. Fall back, as somebody in our league might say. All right, next up, we've got three stalwarts of the Battle of the Leagues Baseball League, uh, previously known as the BFFL. Let's go to uh, previous defending champ, Code Nobs. Code Nobs, playoff range right here. Uh, starters that lead in K per nine. Like, what? High innings pitched and K per nine doesn't usually jive, but it works for Cody Noble's baseball team. You look at the stats overall in the year, he's he's winning those categories each and every week. Uh, but in the process of having those great stats there, it's wrecking his whip and K ERA. So as he's striking dudes out, he's also giving up a lot of dingers in the process of all those innings pitched. I don't, I make it make sense. I don't know. Cody's 4-2 and two on the year. Make it make sense. Um, you know, Coach still going to be wheeling and dealing somewhere. He's only 500 in offensively in home runs. Offense not going to be the issue. Um, but like I said, his ERA being last in the league by almost half a run. Wow, bro. 4-3-3 ERA for Cody Nobs. Four for the next tier up. 33 hundredths of a point, Cody. Wow. The, the ERA needs some work. All right, next up in our playoff range, two more to go. We've got the commish. Commish, numbers-wise, top third of the league in most offensive category, week to week, not seeing it, which means with the weeks he's winning, he's cranking out those numbers, and the weeks he's losing, wow, his team is just not even seeing a baseball. I mean, shit, it might be a team of Stevie Wonders out there trying to smack it around. Um, the only thing saving him is positive regression. Summer heat this past week. Almost got triple-digit total bases. Had some positives right there offensively. Pitching-wise, guys are going to be healthy. Got a couple Cy Young winners coming back. Who knows what will happen pitching-wise, but you never know with uh, the commish right there, a.k.a. me, a.k.a. Thrills, so all synonymous with one another. Playoff range team, not guaranteed to make it. Not going to fall out of it. Just going to hang dangle all year. Next up, last in this range, we got Curb Your Enthusiasm, a.k.a. Billy Baseball. Just... The definition, as the kids would say, is mid. Mid across the board offensively. 3-3-0 three, three, and oh in four of the seven categories. And he's 3-2-1 and one in the other ones, or 2-3-1 and one in the other ones right there. So, uh, offensively, Billy, you either got to do something way better or way worse. I don't know. I mean, I prefer you do something offensively way worse. That'd be fantastic. But if you want to do something differently offensively, that might really help your team in the long run right there. I, I don't know if you've ever made trades, but... 
this might be a time to make a trade. Look at your offense. See what you can see. What you can piece together. What you can add. Um, pitching, just killing it in innings pitch, wins and saves, just <laughs> tanking it. Everything else. Everything else, Billy. I mean, that's just it is what it is right there. All right. So, wheel and deal. That's all I can say. Um, in a um. As we move into our next tier, excuse me, into the title tier, into the these teams should have championship aspirations, I got to thinking as I was in my thinking habit right there. I don't know what that habit might be, but I, uh, so Sam was like, you know what? I need to add one more team to the playoff range. I'm taking one of these teams right now, live. Well, live for me, when you guys watch it, it'll be tape delayed, but live. From the title picture down to the playoff range. And this is going to cause some uproar. It's two and a... I got to do it to you, Ant. It's nothing personal, but a title team requires an even balance of hitting and pitching. We've seen in years past teams that go heavy hitting still wind up losing to teams that have more balance. That's your team, man. Like, your pitching is not it. Your pitching is not it. And it's going to affect you all season long, man. Your offense is great. Titties. Pitching-wise, what do you win each week? ERA and whip. Everything else you're losing. Everything else you're losing, man. Like, fix that, and you can go back into the title tier. But for now, you've just been demoted to playoff range. Which means you got three teams left. I am going to order these in terms of one, two, three. Title picture in their eyes. Number three. I battled back and forth. I battled. I battled. Fat Bottom Girls, our number one team. Number three. Only loss since week one. Has, no, excuse me, excuse me. Not even a loss since week one. Only a tie. Only a tie since week one. Wins are getting bigger, but those numbers are deceiving. Because Fat Bottom Girls, numbers-wise, it's all over the place. He's winning the categories here, but getting thumped here each week. I mean, I'm looking at his numbers offensively right now, pitching-wise. Has not solidified a single category all year long. Hasn't won saves category all year long. Hasn't won holds but once. Has only won an ERA twice. I mean, what, what are you going to do with that team, Ryan Mark? What are you going to do with that team? You can't go to the title picture with those three categories being as bad as that. One of them, definitely. Two of them, questionable. All three, no. Something ain't up. Something ain't it. Moving on, team number two. And you know, I was going to be a little biased towards originals, but this is no bias. Cease and desist, your number two. Offensively, top three in runs, home runs, total bases, RBIs. Pitching to less than a 3.8 ERA each and every single week. Never lost home runs or saves since he's been playing this league. Has never lost those categories. Those are two. I mean, saves is pretty important. If you're going to save, you probably got a good K per nine. You probably got a good ERA. Probably got a good whip. It just makes sense. That's what Closer's job is to do is come in and do absolutely nothing but strike people out. So, cease and assist. You're coming in with our number two ranked title shot odds. I'm putting your odds right now. 12 to 1. 12 to 1. That's what the bookmakers got it at. All right. Which means, as some of you are guessing right now, the number one team in our tiers in the title tier is off constantly and the numbers wholeheartedly bagging up it's not just because i beat them last week to just boop boop to mount horn or grab my own titty as that might have looked like numbers back it up first this team is first in ops runs stolen bases total bases average he's got a team of ronald acunas that's exactly what ronald acuna did last year OPS, runs, stolen bases, total bases, average. That was an Acuna season. He's got a t he's he looks like he's Acuna across the board right now compared to the rest of us scrubs. Um disregard the record. Anthony Rymar, I know you're gonna be in an uproar most most of anybody saying bullshit, horse shit. Rymar being the number one team per Yahoo, and then Anthony Welt just being knocked down a rank and being his arch nemesis Savdog taking the number one spot right now in our fourth third of the way season through the power rankings. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that's where I see it. That's how it is. And the numbers never lie. This is your commish. I'll see you sometime.